Most people with epilepsy are well controlled by medication. In those patients whose seizures are not controlled by medication, it's important to, to consider further investigations and to go back to the basics, as it were, looking again at the causes of epilepsy. Some people whose seizures are shown not to be controlled with medication are found not to be having epileptic seizures at all. Some people have had failed medication trials because they've not been used correctly or they've had more side effects than benefits and alternate medications or combinations can be shown to be of benefit. And a third group of patients can be shown to benefit from alternative or complementary treatments such as epilepsy surgery. Those patients are patients where the seizures are coming from one spot in the brain and that spot could be removed by a surgeon. This requires a detailed investigation. There's a series of investigations that take place over some months, usually in a specialist centre for epilepsy surgery. I would encourage people whose seizures are not controlled to seek those sorts of opinions, not necessarily making a decision about epilepsy surgery, but looking at the assessment for possible epilepsy surgery. There's nothing to be lost in having those investigations. Often a lot more is learnt about the epilepsy. In those people whose epilepsy can be controlled with surgery, there are a number of um, steps involved. If it can be shown that an area of the brain is damaged and can be removed, then often the chances of success in controlling the seizures is as high as 70% in the next 12 to 24 months. This contrasts with the chances of success with further drug trials, which is around about 10 to 20% uh, if there's been many failed drug trials.